Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to compare the MEW4162 with the MJX HyperGo 16207. Both are brushless, both have pretty similar parts. I will have a closer look at them and also let them rip and see where there are differences and what they have in common. I've been reviewing the MJX HyperGo 16207 and the MEW4 M162 and I have to say I enjoyed both of them. First of all, we're going to have a look at the MJX HyperGo 16207. And now the MEW4 M162. Now from the back. And again side by side. Now let's look inside M162. This is how it looks like battery, dean plug, brushless setup, oil shocks, tires, they're adjustable as well. The 16207 looks a little bit different, the motor is the same, the electronics are a little bit different though, and we have a fan. Lipo goes here, we have the oil shocks again, and lots of the parts are absolutely the same. You can see this is adjustable, this is adjustable, oil shocks. And then we have this bumper, there it is again, then underneath, it's like you're looking at twins. Both of them have a complete metal drivetrain. As I've already mentioned, the HyperGo has a fan, while this one does not. But you have the space to actually fit one though. It's super interesting to see how many of the same parts they've used. To make this a kind of fair comparison, the 16207 will also get a 2S battery instead of its 3S battery. Oh yeah, and what I also wanted to know, can you actually swap the body shells? This is the one from the 16207, this is the one from the M162, now let's swap them. See it? Awesome. And now the 16207. It's just, it's crazy. Okay, now let's swap them back. But the similarities do not end here. I mean, look at the remote controls of both of them. The HyperGo actually has the upgraded version of the remote control, so the buttons are aligned a little bit different, but I still had to write down which remote is which. Ooh, look, nature. The MEW4 came with those extra off-road tires, which are the same as on the 16207, so I will also fit them on it. First of the MEW4 M162. Now let's see the hype go. Regarding the handling and the speed, they feel pretty much the same. I do believe though that the 16207 has a slightly faster acceleration, but I'm not even sure whether it's real or whether it's visible. All in all, both of the RCs have a great price value. If you want to go for a bit more pro because of the better electronics, you would go for the HyperGo. Otherwise, you will still get a great deal if you take the MEW4 M162. If you like this comparison, please give it a like. Also, considering comparing the Monster Truck versions. Thank you for watching.